What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Brendan and I'm BMANX45 and today we're coming at you with another video. We have our second deck profile for the BT13 format. I promised you guys this last format that I would be doing this, uh, Ravemon. I am super excited to uh, show you guys my Ravemon deck list. Now that we have two lines of support uh, for the Falcomon Ravemon line, the deck is a lot more consistent. Still has some issues, still you know, would be better with a little bit more support, but right now this is enough to I think play the deck and play the deck in a competitive fashion. Uh, might not do very good again in a regionals tournament, but it's gonna you know do well locally, it's gonna do well uh, you, things are going to be fast paced and you won't feel like, you know, you're playing like a tier two deck. Um, like I said, I'd like to believe that most of the deck profiles I bring you are like a high tier two, tier 1.5, uh, when they're not top tier. So, uh, let's go through the deck, see what we think. You guys can leave comments and tell me if you think I'm kidding myself or do you think this deck is worthwhile playing? So to start out with, we have the eggs for Pinamon. Uh, it's, uh, on deletion, if deleted outside of battle, gain one memory. So a lot of your abilities are going to be deleting it outside of battle and by effect. So you're going to get that free memory. That's just the best, you know, cor you know, free memory is always really good. And then we play one Demi Marimon, you know, the on deletion, draw one and trash one. Uh, really good because you do want certain cards in your graveyard uh, for abilities to go off. So again, really important, but the, just the memory gain is just better. Uh, now getting into the main deck. We play four of the Falcomon from EX4. He's your searcher. On play, reveal top three. Add one purple Digimon card with Ravemon in its name or Bird or Avion in one of its traits and one Keenan Cryer. So he adds your Tamer and any of your line pieces. Um, really, any, I guess any purple Bird and Avian. So if you got other ones in there, you can search them out too. Um, but yeah, and then he has it. Um, on deletion, Inheritable. If delete outside battle, your opponent trashes one uh, card in their hand. Pretty much all your guys, all your lower level guys have that inheritable. So you have to run four of that. It's your searcher. We have the new Falcomon, four of it, from uh, BT13, which is on play. One of your purple Digimon gains retaliation until the end of your opponent's turn. Really, really good. Uh, retaliation is always a, a great effect, and you can play this guy for free off of abilities. Same inheritable as the last guy, so that's always good. So that you have lots of hand control with this. You can just... Um, you know, take out your opponent's hand. Uh, we play two Gazimon. Uh, your opponent can't uh, gain memory except with Tamer effects. So that's, you know, good stun card. And we also play two Psychmon. Uh, players can't reduce costs. I like Psychmon better, uh, personally, than Gazimon. Honestly, if I had another Falcomon that I could play or something that would be better in this kind of the whole thing that Ravemon does, I would play it, but we only have the two names of Falcomon that are really good um, to play. So these options are better. I just find them better in purple decks where you're playing a lot of, you know, like Merva Loop, stuff like that, where, where your level threes don't matter because you get so much value off of a lot of your other cards. But you can play these guys from your trash with abilities, so they are good. Um, I just wish we had more stuff. But uh, otherwise, that you know, that's our rookies, 12 rookies. It's a good number. Moving on to champions, we play th four of the Pekmon from EX4. Uh, if you don't have a Keenan Cryer in play when Digivolving, you may play one from your hand without paying the cost. Uh, same Inheritable, trashing opponent's card when deleted outside of battle. Uh, so unless you pay, play your Keenans um, if, when you don't have anything. Uh, blocker, uh, the new BT13 Pekmon, he has Blocker. Uh, and then the same Inheritable. So really good because he gives you... Uh, the ability to block and then again, you know, you have your inheritable so you can nag cards out of your opponent's hand uh, That's all we're playing for level fours. It is a little low uh, Really low for me uh, eight, but there's just nothing really else good I feel to put in uh, if you want to keep the deck faster I think you need to just you know go with you know more towards the cards that you do have um, So for level fives we have chromon from ex4 so when attacking uh, if you have a purple tamer in play, this Digimon may digivolve into a Ravemon in your hand for the Digivolution cost. Really, really good. So you can, you know, attack with him and then go into Ravemon, which is super important. Uh, on deletion, if delete outside battle, delete one of your opponent's level four lower Digimon. Not super, or five, level five or lower Digimon. Not super relevant, but it does come up. Um, 
and then four of the new rave mon from bt13 he's the amazing guy when attacking if you have a tamer this digimon may digivolve into a rave mon in your trash for the digivolution cost so this is where getting stuff in the trash can be good because you can digivolve into your guys from the trash and that's super super important and then on deletion if deleted outside of battle you may play a level four lower digimon guard from your trash without paying the cost so this is how you can get your level fours back um, since you are popping your stuff so if you're you're running out of level fours you can do that or you can even play some of your level threes some of your stun cards like psychmon or play the falcomon to search and get your pieces so Really, really good. Super important. You got to play four of that guy. Um, that's it for the ultimates. Well, eight ultimates. Uh, starting at the Mega Lines. Uh, three Ravemon. I'm deciding to play three of him because I think he's really good and I really like him. I uh, If I was going to drop, I would probably drop one and maybe find another level four that I could play. Um, but for right now, um, I like him at three. End of your turn. By deleting this Digimon that has a Digivolution card with Bird or Avian in one of its traits, uh, and that's at the end of your turn, um, you may play one Ravemon from your trash. Uh, yeah, sorry. In one of its traits, at the end of your opponent's turn, you may play one Ravemon from your trash without paying the cost. So you basically kill him to bring him back or the other Ravemon back. Uh, and it's Ravemon, yeah, yeah, from your trash without paying the cost at the end of your opponent's turn so you have that guy there to attack at the next turn and then on deletion you may play a falcomon or keenan crier from your trash or hand without paying its cost so it gets you your tamers gets you your falcomons so you can search or give that retaliation it's really good i think i like it at three and that's why i'm trying that and then we have the Fal ravemon from ex4 who actually has less attack but it doesn't matter because he's got jamming and then end of attack by deleting this Digimon that has a Digivolution card with Bird or Avian in one of its traits. At the end of your opponent's turn, you may play one Ravemon from your trash uh, without paying the cost. So you both play each other. Um, this guy is awesome because if you play multiple of him at the end of your opponent's turn, you can just attack with jamming and get through a lot of their security really fast. And then on deletion, if your opponent has eight or more cards in their hand, um, you may trash one card in their hand if your opponent... Then if your opponent has seven or fewer cards in their hand, uh, add the top card of their security stack to their hand. So this guy's really good because he gets security out of your way so you don't have to check it, um, as well as it helps you minus that hand reduction. So that's really, really good. Um, the jamming is amazing. I think three and three is a really good ratio. Like I said, this guy's more important. So if I was going to drop one, I would drop one of that. Um, that's it for the level sixes. For level sevens, we're playing three Ravemon burst mode. I know most people, um, you want to play maximum amounts of burst modes. I think in this deck, three is a fine number. In a lot of the other decks, yeah, you want to play three or four burst modes, but three is a good number in this deck. Um, and he's burst digivolve zero by, uh, from a Ravemon by returning a Keenan to your hand, which is okay because then you can play uh, a Keenan with some of your uh, deletion effects, so that's good. And then when digivolving, uh, search your opponent's hand and trash one card uh, among it. Then if uh, you have seven or fewer cards in the hand, they add the top card. So same, basically same ability, but or when digivolving instead. So generally you would rather digivolve this guy on the BT-13 Ravemon uh, because he's end of turn and then this is going to come off uh, when the burst digivolution pops at the end of the turn. You can use your end of turn effect. Uh, whereas... Um, that is end of attack so you would have to decide to not use his end of attack ability and then when attacking uh, by returning one digimon card from your opponent's trash to the bottom of the deck delete all of your opponent's digimon with the same name as that card so that's kind of cool i don't know if it's going to come up a lot but you know it could it could come up uh quite a bit um so three of those i think it's you know perfect number uh then we get into our tamers that's it for digimon we play three of the EX4 Keenan, which is your memory setter, uh, and all turns when one of your Digimon with Ravemon in its name, Bird or Avion, and one of its traits is deleted by suspending this tamer, draw one. Uh, if that Digimon was deleted by an effect, gain one memory. So even better, it gets you, gets you draws and memory, so that's really good, and is your memory setter. And then we play three of the uh, Keenan from BT13, which is only a three cost on play. Uh, your Opponent may trash one tamer or option card in their hand if they don't gain one memory. 
Um, so this is uh, a draw one. So again, you get that memory gain and draw unless your opponent's going to get rid of stuff in their hands, uh, which is forces them to adjust their plays. Uh, when an effect plays a Digimon, by suspending this Tamer, gain one memory on your opponent's turn. So that's when your Ravemon comes back, uh, you can suspend him to gain. So he gains lots of memory. Uh, we play two Analog Youth, which is why we play the five eggs, because you're going to be deleting your stuff, so you want to get that bonus off with Analog Youth, plus Analog Youth puts stuff in your trash, uh, whatever you don't add to your hand, so that's also really good. And it'll hatch your Digi Egg and stuff like that, so that's always really great. So that's a nice two of, and that's it for the Tamers. But the Analog Youth is really good. Um, we play, for options, we play three of the Ravemon option, which is Ami no Oabari, if I say that right. Um, by deleting one of your Digimon, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with whose level is less than or equal. If one of your Digimon with Ravemon in its name was deleted by this effect, at the end of your opponent's turn, play one Ravemon from your trash without playing the cost. So he does the, basically the same thing as the Ravemons, but he'll delete your opponent's um, thing instead. And you can use this, uh, and its security is delete one of your post Digimon with the lowest level, which is still all right too. It's a four cost, so it's actually pretty cheap. So you can put your opponent in a low memory range, uh, deleting their guy, and then sending your Ravemon to come back up, plus knocking cards out of their hand. So really, really good. And I think three of it is a perfect number. And then last but not least, we play Purple Memory Boost for that memory consistency. We're getting a lot of memory in this deck, but you can all, the problem is, is your pieces. So you want to be able to search your pieces and then have that little bit of more memory consistency is, is really good. So that's it for the deck. Um, I'm liking how the deck is running. Uh, I think it's pretty good. Like I said, it could use a little bit more, but as for right now, I think it's uh, doing pretty good. And I do really enjoy um, nagging my opponent's cards in the hand. So that's really cool. So tell me what you guys think. Do you like the deck? Do you think it's worthy of a BT13 deck slot? I do. I like purple decks that do weird shenanigans, and this does some weird shenanigans. But I think that's all the time we have for this video. If you enjoyed today's content, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single minute of the fun. And that's all for now, folks.